Hello and welcome to the spotlight on the Nuclear Information Reader. Um, so let's just get straight into it. What is the Nuclear Information Reader? Well, it's this unit down here and what it does is it takes information from the Nuclear Control Mod. Uh, it's an add-on for industrial craft, I'm assuming, yeah. Um, and um, it's a MISC peripherals mod for computer craft. And yeah, it takes information from this, which is a nuclear, no, industrial information panel. Um, and that uses these little reactors, or oh, these sensor location cards, sorry, to get information from nuclear reactors or MFSUs. And you can see here, um, I'm using it at the moment um, to spit out into computer craft via the nuclear information reader um, all this info, such as reactor temperature, its EU output, the uh, amount of time left uh, on the current cycle, and um, well, here we've got the MFSU and stuff. So. Uh, and yeah, it's really handy. Once you get this information, you can make it, um, your reactor completely self-regulate using, um, uh, using computer craft. So at the moment I could turn, yeah, I should be able to be able to turn it on. There we go. My nuclear reactor is now on. Uh, it's a U output is, uh, 420. There you go. The reactor temperature and everything, we can keep track of the current reactor temperature. Um, I can turn it off via the touch screen. I can also set the, uh, maximum temperature here via the touch screen. Uh, there we go. It just takes a second or so to update, but yeah, there you go. Um, cool, cool. So, yeah, basically if the reactor reaches that temperature, it's going to automatically shut itself down. Uh, which is fun. So, how do you use the nuclear information reader? Well, um, basically you... I'm just trying to think. Uh, I can do this through Lua. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it through Lua. The best way, probably, to explain it, I did make a test program, um, and because it uses some booleans and stuff using... Lou is not fantastic. So, it's a peripheral. Um, so, you've got to wrap the peripheral like you would a monitor. So, it's just, it can be whatever you want. I've just put M here for easiness, easiness sake. Um, so, wrap the peripheral on whatever side it's on. In this case, it's on the bottom of this computer. Um, now, the nuclear information reader is going to put out four chunks of information. So, um, uh, basically, you, I think this is the only command you use with the nuclear information reader as far as I can remember. Um, so it's just dot .get and the slot number. So we got here, this is a tier 2 and has 9 slots. We're just getting the information off the, um, off the first card or the card in slot 1. If you've got tier 1 nu nuclear information reader, uh, you still got to put the slot in even though the tier 1s only actually have one uh, sensor location card slot. Cool. So, um, let's just go through this. So basically we've got our four chunks of information equal m.get1. Um, A, B, and C are pretty useless. They're just information about the card itself. But this one's going to have, uh, the fourth chunk will have a table on it, uh, which will contain all the information about the heat and all this stuff that I've got up here on the monitor. Um, so... Um, because it's a table, you've got to use the for loop to read that information. Um, and basically what you get out is, um, two bits of information. Um, you get the system and the status, basically. So you're going to get, um, you'll see in a second, but it's going to be like heat and zero or, and a thousand. So heat would be the temperature and, and yeah. Well, actually, sorry. The system would be heat, and we get what the system status is. So, like a thousand or zero, whatever the heat actually is. Um, and this little function here is, um, sorry, this little loop here. All it's going to do is um, this thing to strings. You're going to get um, true or falses and numbers and stuff. So, um, you know, you you want them to be in a, in the string if you're going to try and print, because you always need to print strings, not numbers or booleans. Um, so yes, I hope that all made sense, but let's just show you the information you get out. So let's just run test and that will, there you go. So this is a live, you know, update of what the reactor's, um, current, uh, systems are. So here we are. The first system is heat and status, zero. Second system, rea reactor powered B, which is, is your reactor powered. The st uh, status is false that we've come through as a boolean of a true false. Uh, false means, obviously, that's off. Max heat, the status of uh, that system is, uh, there you go, we can do 16,000 degrees. Bitch can get hot. 
Uh, time left, uh, that, and output zero. So there you go. Uh, the time left is in s seconds by default, so you're going to have to come up with the algorithm to conf convert that into a into hours, minutes, seconds, which I um, did look into and then just realized that I hate maths. So yeah, I'm just leaving mine in seconds. I mean, not that fast. Um, cool. So um, yeah, so that's really all you really need to know. That's it's just these, um, you know, what you're going to get out. And well, look, one way in which you could use that, I guess, is... Um, one way you could use that, the way I'm using it is this um, one here is actually sending out over the uh, the red net, is sending out the system and the status to this computer, which is then splashing it up on the monitor. It's also every time we get updates, what they heat. It's basically constantly just doing that table, um, that for loop, getting information off the card and sending it out over the red net. Um, and when it gets to this computer, this one's um, putting that information up on the screen. Uh, depending on what uh, system it is. So let's just take a look at that. Um, uh, sorry, it's Reddit startup. Uh, so if we just scroll down, it's this is a big program, obviously. So I'm just going to scroll straight down through to here we go. So we're just using, you know, in a loop, it's just constantly getting information over the Red Net. Um, well, it's actually looking for um, events because we're also touching, using the touch screen and stuff. So um, but every time it gets a red net message, which is going to be from our computer over there, it's going to um, just splash up if it's um, reactor powered B. So we're literally sending it the exact information from the table and then it's just going to put that information up on the screen. Um, well, it's just going to assign these variables and then at a later point in the loop, the variables get put up on the screen. So you can see here we are, here are all those systems, heat, max powered B, uh, max heat, output, time left. Um, then we've also got energy L and max storage L, and those are the two, um, the two bits of information you're going to get out if you put a energy uh, sensor location card, which is going to be for your MFSU. Um, in this case, that would have been a, you know, um, whatever the peripheral you've named it dot get r2 because it's in slot 2 um, so I hope that made sense uh, it's a really neat little thing you can make some very powerful stuff with it uh, especially for automating completely automating your um, uh, yeah automating your reactors it's a lot of fun to work with and I hope this video has been instructional and not too confusing because let's face it, I might be a little confused about it all myself. But yeah, it's very cool. Um, it's a great system and I hope you have enjoyed. So I will see you guys next time.